Good. the last chicane 
This is a Scottish chicken. It's the biggest one. But officially it is still called Curva del Vialone. That means Boulevard Bend. Because the truck originally was going in front. And this boulevard you see between the trees. This is Boulevard Mirabello. Because it leads to Villa Mirabello. Then in the 30s, Pirelli, they came here for testing the tires and they required a special oval for them. And this new straight we are now on was part of this oval and it's been used since that time. This is Rettifilo Centrale. Why do we call it Variante Ascari? So Ascari Chicane. Alberto Ascari has been probably the best driver in Italy, I mean the best Italian driver. He died here crashing uh, four days after the Monaco Grand Prix in May 1955. He had just come for uh, testing a friend's car and he crashed there. Nobody seems to have witnessed his accident, but people were so touched by this event that they started to refer to the uh, to the band and then uh, the, the chicane with his name. So that's why we still know it as Ascari chicane. Here we are on Rettifilo Centrale, so the central straight. And this is also the fast part, because from the Ascari chicane to the first chicane, there's only one point where they break down and that's the entrance of Curva Parabolica. But this is also what we call junior track because it was used for racing Formula Junior, a competition that was held during the night. That's why we have lights on this part. So this is Curva Parabolica. That's because of the shape. This shape was never changed in 1955, but four years ago, we, are, we built the asphalt side. And this makes a big difference because before, if cars were out of Parabolica, they were in the sand and it was very hard for them to be back in the race without losing precious time. Now it's still uh, possible to uh, to be in a race and to be on the track without any problems. And here on the left we have the exit of the oval. The high speed oval here is reconnected to the track we have been on. On the right there's the entrance of the pit lane and then this asphalt part is totally new for the Grand Prix. That's why the finish line and it's not been painted yet but it will be painted in some days here under this tower. On the right you see the blue tower where the wave check flag. You see our podium, our unique podium. And this is all the green. So you see all the stalls for the for the cars. Now we have the chance to stop, get off and take some pictures uh, on the start line. We do not have that much time and I also ask you to please be aware because we have all these vehicles going to in front because of uh, 